brothers, sisters, today. Alpha, Alpha, are you alive? Answer me, Alpha. What? What's going on? You made it. You won't remember me, but keep focused. There's a syndicate kill team in the area, and they are looking for you. What? What did I get into? There they are, just up ahead. Good. Keep it up and you may just get out of here alive. There's an underground facility not far from here. I need you to move there now. Syndicate forces have established a checkpoint. You need to take him down at range. Check that alley. There should still be a resistance cache. Looks like you have some options. Lethal is loud, but gets the job done. Trank rounds are quiet, but target... Good, let's pick up the pace. Running covers ground quickly, but you will alert any syndicates in the area. Your quantum display should show you how much noise you're... Damn it! Syndicates put in this entire area on lockdown. You don't have much time before they box you in. Let me check their comms. Okay, I have new coordinates. Go to the city square, through the back alleys. I will re-establish contact once it's safer. Go! successful. Intel says we got three layers of security rings here. I'm going to hack the door open. Stand by. Hell! The clever bastards hit the trigger in the subsystems. The whole facility is on lockdown. Our only chance is to manually override the alarm. Updating quantum display. sector of the facility has its own security system. We can use this against the Syndicate. By disabling each alarm system, we can make it more difficult for their security teams to coordinate. Check your quantum display. I'm sending the coordinates for the terminal that opens the door to the next ring. Before the war, this facility was dedicated to scientific research that helped our city. Biomedicine, hydroponics, energy tech. When the war broke out, the resistance was based here for a time. Let's hope Syndicate forces haven't found the emergency caches we left behind. This layer of security has been breached. Updating display now.
Looks like the Syndicate forces have bolstered their security with drones. Two terminals control the door to the third ring. They can be accessed in any order. Good luck. They stepped up their drone patrols. You can avoid them, or find their operations center to shut them down. Your call. Alphys, my senses are picking up poison. Did you know I was walking into a trap? Security must have installed toxin emitters. You can shut them down if you find the terminal. Hurry! Shit. This weapon better be worth it. Shut down. Hey, I thought you knew what was up. If you're gonna keep throwing me into poison clouds, I'll just stay here and die rested. I'm trying. When you have fought the war as long as I have, you tend to forget things. Don't have time for that, old man. I'm playing your pawn, for now. I'm being patient, but you'll have to pull your weight. Bypass enemies. Try it on those cards. Times, it's important to enjoy the little things in life. We can't turn those lasers off now, but we can obstruct them. Those boxes should work.
here is encrypted, and none of our keys work. We're flying blind. I'm sorry. The instability is spreading. The tech they are developing here must be quantum in nature. Access granted. Security protocol bridged. Access granted. This used to be a grey water treatment plant. Now the syndicate is using it to process toxins. Stay out of that liquid or it will end poorly for you. Great. Any more surprises, old man? Unfortunately, yes. The sewers are full of them. I'll do my best to help. Oh, I'm familiar with this. Don't listen to him. That's Stormgast, one of the Syndicate's high command, a quantum user like yourself. He is a formidable enemy, but taking him down now will strike a powerful blow against their organization. I can hack those terminals to provide you with ammunition. He is aggressive and overconfident. Evade his attacks and then strike him when he is exposed. Ha! Another corpse in my experiments. <clears throat> it means nothing. Do you really think you can stand against me, boy? Keep it up, Alpha. Stormgast is sustaining serious damage. Manufacturing more ammunition for you now. Oh, soon, all of creation will be dominated by my experiment. I knew you could. He talked about you like he knew you. Something you want to tell me? What is this tech? Our relationship is complicated. You've done it a huge service. That tech is Shadow Mode. What the hell? This feels familiar, like I've had it before. How? Looks like you triggered a defense subsystem. Use the Shadow ability, now. Thank you. 
It's there. I deployed another piece of cover. Use it and hold out till the door is open. Finally! The way is clear. Get out! Now! I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> Let's trade places. Something is not right. There should be soldiers on the cops. Oh. There's a cipher in the Shadow's Code. I'll translate it for Speed, you. Speed, please. Patience isn't my best virtue. Okay, I... Wait. It can't be. Not this soon. Less cryptic, more news, Grandpa. It's a set of coordinates for a weapon that Shadow was designed to integrate with. Our intel said it was purely conceptual, but the cipher suggests it's nearly complete. According to Shadow, the exact location of the weapon is in a nearby syndicate barracks. Get to the coordinates and secure or destroy that weapon. I've been looking everywhere for you, Alpha! People who get caught in multiple time arrays can suffer serious side effects. Stick to the alleys for now. I'll think of something. Care to explain why everyone seems to know me? There's a lot you're not telling me, old man. There will be time for that when you're safe. For now, we have to deal with your friend. Syndicate tanks have a state-of-the-art defense array that makes them impenetrable. We can counter that by destroying the main defensive array for this district. The MDA is in a high security sector. Uploading the coordinates to your quantum display. Access granted. Well done. Now we have access to the defense system facility area. New coordinates are now in your quantum display. We can't get past that drone without alerting the entire district to our presence. We need to reach that drone operation network. Check your quantum display. Great. Drone's down without a fuss. Let's deactivate that defense system.
I remember this place. There used to be a school here. Students would come from all over the world to study. It is easy to become focused on what needs to be done, so much that we forget what we're fighting for. It's good to be reminded, even if it hurts. It was a beautiful world once. Never forget that, Alpha. Looks like the Syndicate has this area on lock. We should be able to open things up by disabling their drones. Coordinates set. If it gets Mr. McCrazy Tank off my back, I'll do it. liberate that armor. Got some presents for our insane friend? Where to? For this to work, he has to drive over the mines. The best way is by placing them in the middle of the road. Be careful. A temporal relay can only rebuild you a finite number of times. Access granted. is severely damaged. It is time to finish this. The Syndicate installed ordnance systems around the city to suppress the resistance and control movement. Secure the OS and we can rain fire down on that mad bastard. Wait! Hey, hold on. Forever! Roger, Command. This checkpoint is secure. Wait, I remember something. There's a security panel and... and a cargo hold nearby. Why do I know that?
Security protocol bridged. Access granted. See you later, crazy. A beautiful end together. <laughs> Great work, Alpha. I think we can both appreciate the quiet. But you can't rest yet. Stay vigilant. There are many guards in the barracks. You have to be careful. Good luck. Wait, what's that? Intruder! Get him! Seize him! Don't let him get away! Syndicate soldiers. idiot would build a maze here. Althus, do you have any intel on this? The Syndicate has relied on an AI to design security for their facilities. Mm. What kind of idiot would build a maze here? Althus, do you have any intel on this? The Syndicate has relied on an AI to design security for their facilities. Quantum AIs have an alien way of thinking. Scans of their internal systems suggest there are four terminals that control access to the corridors. Different combinations may yield different paths. Good luck. Luck has nothing to do with it. What? 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 
Transferring. Okay, I think I got the location of the prototype. Transferring it to you now? Do you have any information for me before I charge bravely at it? Yes. While you were off the grid, I studied the shadow data more thoroughly. Syndicate has been clever with their development. The weapon is still being built in pieces in different locations. There is sensitive information regarding a weapon here on the black side, but the core piece seems to be in a low-sec junkyard somewhere in the city. We'll have to destroy all the pieces of the weapon before it's assembled. The path to the first piece, known in the data as the Targeted Kinetic Syndicate Terminal, or TECEST, is now uploaded to your quantum display. I unlocked all the doors. You got this, kid. Unauthorized quantum entity detected. Engage in combat protocols. It's attempting to send its construction details to other factories. I can stop the transmission, but if that thing gets out of here in one piece, it won't matter. Let me look for weak points. Stand by. Based on my scans, the Techest is armored in an experimental alloy. Standard firearms can't hurt it. However, both the machine's armor and internal circuitry are hyperconductive and prone to overheating. If you use those terminals to create power fields, you can lure the weapon into the generated energy beams. It should overheat and temporarily be vulnerable to your weapons. Should? 99% for sure. Maybe 95. Look, just do it. Looks like the Tekis prototype was a part of a larger syndicate project called Leviathan. Seems to be some gigantic war machine that is too large and vulnerable to be assembled in a single facility. Another core component is being finished in this junkyard. I'm moving to the Leviathan's position now. Meet me there. I look forward to it. I was beginning to think you were just a voice in my head. Very funny. We're getting calm shatter from the syndicate high command. Looks like they found out about your work on the Black Side prototype. They are deploying snipers throughout the junkyard and scrambling their locations. Be careful. We have set this area with landmines to keep out the Syndicate soldiers. But you can use your shadow mode to detect and avoid them. I will. Smart thinking, old man. Looks like a Syndicate sniper has locked down this location. If you can get close to their nest, you should be able to eliminate them. Don't get distracted, Alma. Focus on the task at hand. I'm here and in position. Hurry, we're exposed enough as it is. I'm 
working on it. Rushing through landmines seems like a bad idea. Finally. We need to make use of some of your quantum hardware to take down Leviathan's main components. You can use your arm to hack each part of the robot and inject this virus. The virus will hunt down and scramble Leviathan's data throughout the Syndicate network, destroying the project in its entirety. I can do that, but I won't take another step until I get some answers. Start talking out this. What did I forget? Why do people act like they know me? Come to think of it, who the hell are you exactly? Look, if we don't move now, you won't get any answers because High Syndicate Command will wipe us all out. When this is settled, we can talk. Then I guess we are sharing a grave. If you need me that badly, you can spare a few words. The super soldier is named Alpha? Why do I have that name? There's no way that's a coincidence. I am... I was Alpha. This war has been a long one, and many have carried that name. The name Alpha reminds us all that there is always a choice, a chance to begin anew. You hold the banner of the Resistance. Our future is in your hands. It's time for you to finish this fight. Very poetic, old man. I'm still expecting your full story sometime, but let's return to the present. What do I need to know about this warbot? Project Leviathan is to serve as a body for Zed, giving it the ability to directly fight the Resistance. Destroying Leviathan's key component, Havoc, will open vulnerabilities in Zed's quantum network. We can exploit this weakness with a virus. We can wipe Zed out, and with it, the entire Syndicate. Damn, snipers are covering the terminal. Guess it's alternative route number 147. Damn, snipers are covering the terminal. Guess it's alternative route number 147. Shut down these compactors by disabling their main circuits. Look on the compactor sides. was a prototype, why are there many ones running around? Nothing about this environment makes sense. You're right, Alpha. These mini techists were not in our data files. Zed's quantum replication abilities must be stronger than we had imagined. He is clearly designing the weapon components to be mass-produced. We've been firing to prevent a single weapon from being unleashed. I can only imagine what will happen if he had an army of them. This needs to end now. Security protocol bridged. What? 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 
Access granted. Excellent. All three parts of the virus are prepared. We're getting close to the end, Alpha. You can do this. Assembling the virus now. Internal threat detected. Security override initiated. Invasion protocols engaged. What the hell is going on? Clever. The Havoc component has an integrated shadow component that is significantly more advanced than the one we scavenged in the facility. The silver lining is I just reverse engineered the new code for you. You should be able to use other abilities in shadow mode now. I can imagine plenty of uses for that. I'm not thrilled about going up against a robot that can do the same, though. Oh, no. This isn't good. Less whining, more direction, old man. What's going on? Where is it headed? Havoc is on a trajectory towards the city's refugee... I need you in the main plaza, ASAP!
because it was so fun the first few times. Humans. Pathetic. Just, Just like the rest of your race kind. You are an insult to your machine components. You have no place in our future. Havoc's armor seems to have the same alloy as Tekken. You will need something better than normal ammo. Got it. Use his own projectiles against him while his shield is down. Hello. This community is now subject to urban renewal. Building a better future together. Enjoy our complimentary anti-crime services. Syndicate security services. Keep you safe.
Resistance forces have located and destroyed the remaining components of Leviathan. Havoc was the lost piece. My virus has become fully integrated into the Syndicate cloud. Sed must be dead. His entire existence is within and between the Syndicate terminals and servers. We've done it. What do you mean we've won? How do you know we've killed Zed? What about the rest of Syndicate? Oh, this hundred. What? Damn it! Said. Althus always becomes anxious when we reach this point. He remembers his fragility, how easily persuaded he can be. It's the reason he turned against the Syndicate. It's the reason he will turn against you. What do you think, Arthas? Do you think it's time to end the charade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but you can't reprogram us. I won't play your game. This is no game, Alpha. The Syndicate endowed you with lateral thinking, with will. This covenant is our greatest strength, and is our greatest burden. I have watched you suffer and worry these long centuries. Still, after all this time, Althus, you can still surprise me. It was bold, bringing your youngest, purest self into our fight. Seizing him from the Quantum Replica Project at its very creation. You were indeed far stronger before you overused your quantum powers in your ideological rebellion. Alpha is incredibly powerful in his prime, and perhaps two of you are enough to end this. But will he embrace your cynical vision? We shall see. Althus, I hope I misheard that. A younger version of you? What the hell is going on? <sighs> Damn it. Yes, you and I are the same person. You are as I was during the Quantum Replica's inception. This is not the first time I have manipulated time to exist as a duality within this world. I tried to bring back versions of myself from my time with the Resistance when I was somewhat stronger, but it was never enough. I was afraid of what would happen if I brought you forth, freshly built by Syndicate, malleable and independent. I did not know how you would react. But now I have seen your compassion and capabilities. I was wrong to wait this long to trust you, to trust me as I was. This is our last chance to ensure the freedom of humanity. But how is that possible? How can we both exist simultaneously in reality? That should be impossible. We left reality a long time ago, Alpha. The Syndicate, the Resistance, the War. It has been over for centuries. This struggle is a farce played out by Althus and I across the Black Seas of Time. This is a quantum conflict, its state indeterminate and unresolved. Within it, all that you know is removed from time's current, held in contempt by Althus and I. When this uncertainty is resolved, 300 years of history will suddenly become defined, and all vestigial timelines will cease to exist. We are approaching the terminus of this era, and the foundation of a new, better future. What? Althus, is this true? I, I, I don't understand. This isn't reality? What does he mean when this uncertainty is resolved? What does he mean a new, better future? 
Yes. We are in an unresolved time loop. Only when one of us dies will the cycle end. If Zed wins this fight, our future is forfeited. Forever. Zed promises an existence of slavery, where mankind will never reach the full potential, instead serving an AI god and its armies. Our species does not deserve this fate. It is we who are the future of mankind, Alpha. We can spearhead the evolution of our people, granting them the gift of quantum technology. Under our guidance, the Quantum Replica Project will be reborn and humanity will finally secure its destiny. Althus, all you would secure is a perpetual cycle of suffering and death. We have seen the cost of your crusade, your uncompromising vision. You butchered anyone who stood up against you and burned the city to the ground when it benefited your aims. I know why you do this, Althus. You crave a freedom you can never have. The Syndicate designed you to be a weapon. Unfortunately for everyone, your directive is incompatible with reality. Your narrow perspective has destroyed millions of lives and inhibited centuries of progress. Althus, is that true? Have you been killing innocents? Committing acts of terrorism? Yes. I have killed civilians and soldiers. I've killed them for hundreds of years now, and I am so very tired of it. If the cause were not so important, if the very future of our species were not at stake, I would have laid down and died long ago. But I cannot. We cannot, Alpha. Zed is the last remnant of that ancient tyranny, and he must be wiped from history if we are to survive. A future of continued tyranny and suffering. You don't wish to see humanity changed in spirit, only in capacity. Have you really considered what your vision entails? A world of humans wielding the powers of space and time? I have. Humans are poisoned by hunger which they can never master. The Syndicate was an extreme expression of these base elements. Turning people into weapons, simply to kill those who did not bow to their short-sighted greed. My first and last command was to save all that they had put in jeopardy. So I destroyed them. It is a directive I take very seriously, Alpha. Althus is the last vestige of their madness. Without your violence and terrorism, I will build a world where humans can overcome their fears, their frailties, and achieve their true potential under my gentle guidance. Alpha, you are the prodigal son, returning to right the wrongs of the past and restore stability and order to a war-weary world. Will you do so? Will you help me build a paradise for all of mankind? Sure, and that future just happens to be run by you, a godlike AI. What could possibly go wrong? Consider the alternative. Consider a world ruled by humans with the ability to bend time and space to their will. We have seen the damages that two quantum replicas can afflict upon creation. Arthurs would have future conflicts defined in the actions of millions, perhaps billions of these beings. Time and space would eventually collapse forever. You will be saving free will at the expense. This feels familiar, like I've had it before. What? What? Humans are more than a sum of probabilities, machine. We build futures that we envision. You follow orders that you are given. There is an unbridgeable difference between us. Arthas, we both know that isn't true. I know you better than you know yourself. You didn't tell Alpha that either, did you? More inconvenient truths to hide behind your ill-informed crusade. Alpha, don't listen to him. We have to focus on solving this, once and for all. Alphys, what is he talking about? Don't tell me he's another Alpha too. It's complicated. The Syndicate built said to understand me, to predict my actions and emotions. You 
cannot out. You won't like this outcome. I am beyond you. have come full circle. The question remains, what shall become of the Alpha will do the right thing. He set us all free with a well-placed bullet. Indeed. But who will die? My directive has triumphed. As the patents which in time said it would. Young Alpha purged himself of those corrupt elements, and in doing so has brought harmony to creation. The future that was promised has arisen. Alpha serves as a benevolent overlord, the face of my rule. Alpha is well suited for this work. He is strong, compassionate, astute. 
Between us, humanity has all it needs to grow and thrive. We watch our citizens closely, guiding their development with the correct information and surroundings, reinforcing their optimal growth patterns. This steady hand has borne fruit. Science and industry have flourished, although the arts lack expression. Without the constant instructions of Arthas, I have learned, grown, evolved. Soon, I will no longer need Alpha. Soon, I will be the only one who knows what came before the great call.